Hi YouTube, watch by here with another short video. By now everyone already knows about the G-Shock GA2100 series and the various colorways. There are tons of videos on YouTube about these watches. The Stealth All Black GA2100 1A1 was an early release and seems to be one of the most popular in this series, which was introduced uh, back in 2019. So it made sense that when Casio came out with a tough solar and Bluetooth version of the GA2100 series, they continued that all black look, right? Well, sort of. In the US, they released the GAB2100 line consisting of four colorways. A dark green, a dark blue, a yellow, and a black GAB2100 1A. Notice though how this watch has a red indicator hand at 9 o'clock, yellow tough solar print, along with the word Bluetooth in blue. The hour indices are also gray rather than black, and the wording in the bezel is in gray too. This watch has a positive LCD display as well. So is there an option out there for someone who wants a blacked out version of this newer solar and Bluetooth model? Uh, yes, but for some reason this GAB2100 1A1 isn't on the G-Shock USA website, so I believe it's an international or Japan only model. If you're familiar with the battery powered quartz GA2100 1A, you'll notice that this watch is basically the same watch with only a few differences that I'll point out. First off, the dial has a sunburst finish rather than a matte texture as before. I think this has to do with the solar cell. The subdial serves a dual purpose as a charge indicator, low, medium, high, and a mode indicator, which includes uh, letting you know when the watch is in Bluetooth connected mode. This watch has the module 5689 inside of it, the resin strap and case are unchanged, however on this model the buckle and tang are black plastic rather than metal. I like that change as it's keeping with the all black look of the watch, however in terms of durability it probably has a greater chance of breaking over a metal buckle. If you want a more in-depth review of this watch, I'll leave a link in the video description to my previous video which goes over the dark blue GAB2100 2A. I like that blue one and I tried it out since I didn't think an all black version was available, but now that I have this one in the collection, I'm in the process of selling my blue one. I got this GAB2100 1A1 from a seller on Amazon for $137 but I see it's being sold for as low as $126 right now on eBay. What was interesting is that it didn't come in a G-Shock metal tin, but rather it just came in a black box. I'm not sure why Casio doesn't sell this variant in the US, but maybe it's so as to not take away from sales of the non-solar all black version, who knows. Uh, that watch is still very popular, of course, and I regretted selling mine. It can be purchased from Amazon for $92, so if you don't care about the solar and Bluetooth functions, that would be the watch to get. With Bluetooth, though, you can connect the watch to an app on your smartphone. Casio recently consolidated the G-Shock and the Casio Watches app so now you just need the Casio Watches app. You can change settings and synchronize time pretty easily using the app. And there's also a pretty neat phone finder feature that activates simply by holding down on the bottom right button. Now of course this watch isn't for those that value legibility. It isn't the easiest to make out the time in low light conditions and the loom on the hands isn't the greatest. You can however activate the backlight. If I could suggest a design tweak for Casio that would be to make the four pushers and the case screws black PVD. 
those silver elements are noticeable on this watch and making them black would really complete the stealth look. They have actually done that on the $500 all metal GMB 2100 BD-1A. Just a quick note for those that follow the channel, I recently sold some of my watches. These were great watches, but I just didn't wear them as much. And um, so basically I sold my Skeleton GA2100 the other day. That was a cool watch to own, but uh, it was a shame that the translucent straps always get yellow over time. I had taken that module out and placed it into a rose gold case and bracelet which I'm selling separately, by the way. I sold my Seiko Monster SBDY 105 as well. I just wasn't feeling excited to wear it anymore, so decided to pass it on to someone who will hopefully enjoy it and wear it more than I did. I sold my modified Seiko 5 Sports SRPD 81, and I sold my bluish green Orient Kumasu Diver so currently I only have one Orient left in the collection. Overall, I feel my preference is moving towards 40 millimeter and, and sub 40 millimeter size watches, uh, like the 38 millimeter Seiko 5s that I recently picked up. So in terms of Cassiokes in the collection, I'll just have this gray GA2110, which I still enjoy owning, and now this black one, which looks to remain in the collection for the foreseeable future. For sure there are tons of more variants and colorways Casio could release in this Casio Solar Bluetooth line should they choose to do so. That's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful or interesting. And if you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, or even consider subscribing. I wanted to of course thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in another video.